10 wins at 92.3 FM, New York. Good afternoon, partly cloudy and 47. It's 5 o'clock on this Sunday afternoon. I'm Glenn Shuck, and here's what's happening. One person is dead in a hit and run that happened in a car wash on Webster Avenue in the Bronx. We'll have the update coming up. Former President Jimmy Carter, at age 98, remaining in hospice care at his home in Plains, Georgia. JFK Terminal 1 back in business. There have been some delays, though, as they try to get that back to normal operations after power restored. The fire that happened out there on Thursday. Pretty tense meeting, apparently, between the Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken, and his Chinese counterpart over the spy balloon, which China says is not a spy balloon. A very popular water bottle has been recalled. We'll give you the details about that. And in sports, the NBA All-Star Weekend wraps up with the game tonight. Team Giannis against Team LeBron. That tips off at 8. The only hockey action the locals have, the Devils, they'll host the Winnipeg Jets. That's coming up at 7. Accu weather, clouds and sun as the uh, sunset comes our way here. And then overnight, back down to a 44. And then it looks like mid-50s for President's Day. Wednesday's news time, 501. Let's get to traffic and transit. Here's Sue Allen. All right, Glenn, we're still loaded up in Manhattan on the southbound side of the FDR Drive as you approach 96th Street, all because of a collision. Delays go all the way back to the RFK Tribar Bridge. You got two lanes down and northbound one lane is closed for first responders. Avoid this all together and stick with one of the avenues. Now, also pretty busy in Westchester on the eastbound side of the Cross County, just after the Bronx River Parkway, there is an accident. Westbound also real slow with rubbernecking delays. So it's just a stop and go ride. You got a car fire taking out the right lane in New Jersey on the western spur of the turnpike southbound by 280 interchange 15W. So watch out for that. Now the Garden State Parkway northbound slows down right around exit 139. Clean up from an earlier accident. The right lane is closed. Here's what you need to know about the bridges and tunnels. Inbound George, 20 minutes. Outbound, 25. You got 15 both ways at the Lincoln and 15 both ways at the Holland Tunnel. Also real slow in Queens on the southbound side of the Van Wick as you make your way through the Kew Gardens interchange. Here's what we see on Long Island's Big Three, a really nice ride on the Southern, the Northern, and the LIE. Traffic and transit every 10 minutes on the ones and breaking traffic alerts whenever they happen. I'm Sue Aller, 1010 Winds on 92.3 FM. Winds News Time 502. Police continue to investigate a fatal hit and run a car wash in the Bronx. The Claremont community here is in shock after a 55-year-old car wash worker was killed while polishing up a car that was just washed. Yeah, he just is making a living and unfortunately he lost his life. Well, condolences to his family. Cops say a Ford Escape with Georgia tag slammed into the Toyota RAV4 here on Webster Avenue, all caught on surveillance video showing the man was directly hit. Milton Cardenas is the victim's co-worker. Well, my we just got I'll see the shot now. We'll come to the floor continues south to the end of the block to East 167th Street. Police say the two women inside fled on foot. Darius Ramsey's 1010 wins on 92.3 FM in the Bronx. When's news time 503? Police now investigating four deaths in Linden, New Jersey. It was a triple murder suicide. Officers called to a home in Chatham Place 930 this morning. Now, initially, the two adults and a juvenile were dead from gunshot wounds. And police had said that the shooter was among the dead, so there was no danger to the public. A second juvenile was rushed to Newark University Hospital in critical condition. We have learned now uh, that this uh, second uh, young person has died at the hospital. So, again, there are four lives lost here. We have not gotten their identities yet as a Union County prosecutor on the scene. We'll have more information, they say, later today. 98-year-old former President Jimmy Carter is in hospice care at his home in Plains in Georgia. He is the longest-living American president. Serving that single term in office, lost a re-election bid to Ronald Reagan in 1980, but he has become known and widely respected all across the world for his global advocacy for human rights and health and working with Habitat for Humanity, where he started it up right here, building homes in New York City nearly four decades ago. His first project was in 1984, right here in New York City uh, on 6th Street. And uh, it was the first time he ever engaged with us. That's Karen Haycox, the CEO for Habitat for New York City and for Westchester County, speaking with Channel 2. The former president's family at his home with him at his side. The first Lady Rosalind Carter is also there, of course. She is now 95 years old. A suspect arrested in the killing of a Temple University police officer in Philadelphia. That officer shot in the head. He was trying to stop a carjacking right off the campus last night. They have confirmed, uh, Temple University police have, that the suspect's in custody. 
We'll learn more about that and who that person is. We do know that the suspect was captured in Bucks County and then taken back to Philly uh, by U.S. Marshals. Well, if you've never been to Lenny's Pizza, you don't have a lot of time here. You have about five hours, and we're being told that the lines are long. You have till 10 tonight. Of course, the famous pizzeria featured in Saturday Night Fever, John Travolta's character, Tony Manero, ordering those two slices and stacking them up and eating them as though he's walking down 86th Street in Bensonhurst. Uh, Frank is among those who waited in line today. It's just a shame that it's closing. So again, Lenny's has been around 70 years. We wish them well. They'll be closing for good at 10 p.m. When's the news time? 5.06. One in three people will have cancer in their lifetime. It might be a parent, a child, a partner, even you. So what does it take to make sure you're in the right hands? It takes MSK. We specialize in more than 400 different types of cancer, including the most important one, yours. Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center, because where you're treated first matters. Call 888-522-2349 or visit msk.org slash first. I know a lot of you really want the State Farm Personal Price Plan, but what's with the oversharing? Like this message from Sarah. Hi, Jake from State Farm. Uh, I eat hard-boiled eggs, like shell and all. Mmm, the crunch is exquisite. You don't need to get that personal. The State Farm Personal Price Plan helps you create an affordable price just for you. Like a good neighbor... State Farm is there. Call or go to statefarm.com for a quote today. Prices vary by state. Options selected by customer availability and eligibility may vary. There is granola inside your phone. There is garlic and herb marinara sauce in your phone. There are juicy clementines, bowl and basket rotisserie chickens, and everything you love from ShopRite in your phone on Instacart. Download the Instacart app and get free delivery on your first order in as fast as one hour. ShopRite on Instacart. What you love when you need it. Offer valid for a limited time. Minimum order $10. Additional terms apply. Bananas are in your phone. Enjoy. Now this message. If your driver's license suspended or revoked, call Katz Lawyers. 212-747-0606. When's news time? 508. Well, if you're going out to JFK Terminal 1, probably still should give a call before you go. Still some delays, but it's nothing compared to what airline passengers have been dealing with the last couple of days here. As work crews did finally fix that power outage at Terminal 1, the mostly international flights there. It started Thursday when the electrical panel failure caused a small fire in the utility room. Hundreds of flights then canceled or diverted to other airports since then. They're again getting things back on track there. But again, check with your carrier before you head out to Terminal 1. Since the February 3rd Ohio train derailment in East Palestine, the Environmental Protection Agency's been there, the NTSB too, on the ground, inspecting the air and the water. Residents not convinced, though, that it's safe. Frustration and skepticism mounting in the community over many unanswered questions and allegations that officials haven't done enough. I, I'm 53. I've had two headaches in my life, and I feel like I've had one every day since the control burn. Norfolk Southern CEO was on the ground Saturday to see the damage firsthand, releasing a statement saying he is, quote, deeply sorry about what the community is going through and promised to do the right things to help them heal. That report for us from Mona Kosar Abdi from East Palestine. After meeting with the Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi in Germany, the Secretary of State Antony Blinken sat down and uh, chatted with CBS's Face the Nation and Margaret Brennan to talk about the face-to-face. The first high-profile meeting between these two countries since the United States shot down that balloon off the coast of the Carolinas earlier this month. I made very clear to him that China sending a surveillance balloon over the United States in violation of our sovereignty Uh, in violation of international law, was unacceptable and must never happen again. Blinken says China indeed tried to spy on military sites in the country, but China says not true. They had no spy capabilities on that balloon, as we'll see when they may be talking next. Partly cloudy here. It's 47. We'll drop back to 44 on the overnight. We'll get to traffic and weather coming up here in a minute. At RWJ Barnabas Health, we have a passion for heart health. With the largest adult and pediatric cardiac surgery programs in the state, a heart transplant program that's top 10 in the nation, a partnership with Rutgers Health, the latest technology and medical advancements and nationally renowned care for every heart in every one of our communities. Whoever your heart beats for, our hearts beat for you. Let's be healthy together. Visit rwjbh.org heart.
Between getting the kids up and ready for the day, picking them up from school, helping with homework, life feels like it won't stop. Sometimes all you want is to stop and enjoy a peaceful moment with your family or even just by yourself. Solo Stove Fire Pits are the simplest way to relax around a crackling fire without all the smoke other fire pits make. With Solo Stove, it's never been easier to gather around the fire. Visit solostove.com for big discounts during their cozy deals. Enjoy a roaring fire and good times with loved ones with Solo Stove. Stove. With news time 511, let's get you traffic and transit. We always do it on the ones. Here is Sue Ellen. All right, Glenn, let's going to start off in Westchester on the Cross County. We're real slow both ways by Columbus Avenue, exit 8. Looks like we have an accident. One lane is closed in both directions, and it's just stop and go here. But it's a mess on the FDR Drive. Southbound at 96th Street, an accident. Taking down two lanes. Delays go all the way back to before the RFK Tribar Bridge. And on the northbound side, one lane is off what is closed for first responders and delays go back to the 50s, so not a good ride at all. We also have some slowdowns in Queens on the Jackie Robinson Parkway. You're jammed in both directions by Metropolitan Avenue and the eastbound Grand Central. Got a break check at 188th Street. In Brooklyn, the BQE slows down both ways between the Brooklyn Bridge and Atlantic Avenue, and then it's pretty busy on the Belt Parkway, and that's in both directions by Erskine Street. We do have a car fire in New Jersey to slow you down on the Western Spur southbound just north of Interchange 15W. takes out the right lane, and then on the Garden State Parkway northbound, right before exit 139, right lane construction, clean up from an earlier accident. Here's what you need to know about the bridges and tunnels. 20 minutes inbound at the George, 25 on the outbound side, 10 to 15 both ways and that is at the Lincoln Tunnel same thing 10 to 15 both ways at the Holland Tunnel this report is sponsored by the Twin Island Paradise of Antigua and Barbuda I'm Sue Aller next report at 521 1010 wins on 923 FM one in three people will have cancer in their lifetime it might be a parent a child a partner even you so what does it take to make sure you're in the right hands it takes MSK we specialize in more than 400 different types of cancer, including the most important one, yours. Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center, because where you're treated first matters. Call 888-522-2349 or visit msk.org slash first. Accurate the four-day forecast now. Let's get that from meteorologist Carl Erickson. All right, Glenn, as we uh, quickly approach sunset here, pretty quiet weather out there for you tonight with partly the mostly cloudy skies down to 44 for a low. A slight chance for a shower, mainly across the eastern end of Long Island, but it's pretty out. That should be pretty much it for the night. Otherwise, clouds, a few breaks of sunshine tomorrow, even a little bit warmer compared to today with a high of 56. Might be a shower sneaking in late in the day, then a rather unsettled but also mild weather patterned into Tuesday and Wednesday. A couple of showers around late tomorrow night, low 41, which will spill over into Tuesday with a high of 54. And again, as mentioned, those temperatures still above average on Wednesday. After some morning sunshine, there's way to increase in clouds, perhaps a steadier rain developing late in the day, high Wednesday 46. Currently, it is 46, mostly cloudy, humidity is 62%, and winds south at 18 miles per hour. 